another pickups video for 2016, everybody. I don't even know what number this is. I think it's number three. Um, yeah. So, picked up a couple things recently, a little bit more than last time. Um, so let's start with some of the more recent items, or new games, I should say. They're all new to me. Um, we ended up getting, unfortunately not um, the special version of it, because that was made available while I was at work. Um, Fire Emblem, Birthright, and Conquest. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot for me to say about this. I fell absolutely in love with the Fire Emblem games when I started playing them. There's not a lot of fantasy uh, strategy games that really get my attention. Fire Emblem is one of very, very few. Generally, I gravitate towards the sci-fi ones like XCOM or Front Mission. Um, but Fire Emblem just did things in such a way that it had me hooked, so um, my fiance and I each got one of these, um, although I don't remember which one was whose. We'll figure that out later, but these games are great. Um, Fire Emblem in general is great. I've got all of the home console versions, so I was glad to be able to get these too. Uh, where am I going? Oh, let's keep up with the 3DS games. Um, I ordered through the Square Enix store Final Fantasy Explorers Collector's Edition, and I got this the day before it officially came out. Um, however, I got it, and I had to literally leave for work in like five minutes. So, like, that's just how the mail worked that day. So I was kind of bummed that I didn't get to play it right away, but, um, it was hard for me to say no to this game when it was even first said of coming to North America, because it's... Monster Hunter and Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, basically. I don't see how that can be bad. I can imagine it being a little tedious, but not bad. So, that and the art on this thing is freaking crazy awesome, and all the, the the rough character creation and everything. I, I'm a sucker for a lot of the stuff that this game is has in there, so that'll be fun. Just gotta get another copy so more of us can play it. Uh, so let's work our way... No, no, let's, let's stay with the current generation of things. Um, so, I played the original game on the Vita, and when they remastered it, I was absolutely not going to miss it, and that is Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush is a really interesting game in terms of how it plays, because you, you're just changing where gravity is, and you have a lot of powers that revolve around you floating. And, honestly, it's simple, fun, and they handle the, like, the speed very nicely. I like a game that has a good sense of speed and um, pull and force behind things. This game handles that quite well, and I'm really glad that they put it on the PS4, and I'm even more glad to hear that they're doing a sequel on the PS4. So, that'll be really cool when that uh, makes its way around. And, to go super traditional RPGs, since there aren't a whole lot of those anymore, um, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Um, it is literally a traditional turn-based strategy, or turn-based RPG, and um, I'm perfectly okay with that. There's really not anything that does that anymore. I mean, Lost Odyssey, I think, was the last one to truly do the like classic style of, you know, uh, strategizing your turn-based movements, whereas everything else is, like, active-based, like Final Fantasy XIII. Which, don't get me wrong, I like the battle system pretty well, but it there's a lot of things that didn't feel right about the game in general, which kind of held it back. But classic turn-based battles, I'm absolutely all for that. So that, and you know, I really like the character designer uh, that worked on the characters for this game, and it's really cool to see some of these Digimon again, because if you grew up in the 90s like I did, you got to see Pokemon and Digimon side by side playing. I mean, I was a fan of both. Um, and it really depended on the season uh, you're referring to, because like, I preferred the Johto Pokemon, whereas I also preferred the... Uh, um, I preferred actually any of the Digimon up through Gen 3 that they did, um, or Season 3. After that, they kind of got kind of... Mm, Less than desirable, in my opinion. And they've actually got Digimon from up through there in here, so this is really cool for me. It helps me relive my childhood a bit more. Uh, so now we're going to start working back in time. Um, 
this is kind of a hard one to get anymore. Um, I was really happy to find it at a decent price, and that'd be a document of Metal Gear Solid 2. Basically, it's an interactive documentary on the making of the game. Uh, you've got um, character model viewers. You've got you can actually see prototype models they built for when they were testing out how they wanted to handle the game. Uh, one thing is a cell shaded Mei Ling, which Mei Ling's not even in the game. So that was really kind of an interesting thing to see there. Um, and then they've got a couple of the uh, VR missions that they put into the Substance version of Metal Gear Solid 2, as well as um, some interviews and such with Hideo Kojima and other such members. So this is a really cool thing to have. Um, it's not so much a game as much as it's an, an interactive documentary. And it's really cool. Uh, if you're a fan of the Metal Gear games... I would recommend looking into it just so you can get some insight on how the development came to be on some of these games and some of the features you see. So, definitely a cool one to get. And to continue along with uh, that little trend there, um, I actually remember when this game first came out, I went to the stores throughout town the morning it came out, asking them, if they had it, none of them said yes, because apparently this was far more limited than I had originally thought it was going to be. Metal Gear Solid 3, Subsistence, Limited Edition. Now, that being said, I did just get, you know, Subsistence at the time, uh, because there's no way I was not going to play it. However, um, this version came with a exclusive theatrical disc, which basically wove all the cutscenes together like a film. Um, and it has this really cool red outer boxing. Um, for those of you that aren't aware, Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence actually includes the MSX version of Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. Um, slightly altered, uh, uh, I want to say character sprites, but they're not, they're portraits, um, for when they're doing their, uh, radio calls and such. But overall, I mean, you're getting the, the games the way they were intended to be played, which is really cool because one of those games never made it to America, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Um... But so much of this was just such a cool game and cool experience, and I've wanted this limited edition for a while, and I was really glad I was able to find it. So this is going to uh, find a very happy home on my shelf now. Um, I'm going to do the next two together, just because they're the last ones on this uh, list of games we got. And that would be... Well, that and they're also uh, connected. I got Uncharted Waters and Uncharted Waters New Horizon. Um, these are, again, they're actually, um, turn-based kind of tactics games to an extent. Um, I'm not super familiar with the second one. I know a little bit more about the first one, but not a whole lot, because I had never played these before. But I had been recommended these by, uh, friends before a couple of times, and I've seen a lot of things online, so these are very, um, underrated for how interesting and intricate they can be. So I figured, why not pick them up and add them to the collection? Um... That and, you know, they were in my friend's local store, and I like to support him as much as I can, and these are not exactly common games to run across. And I like pirates. I do. Uh, Assassin's Creed 4, in my opinion, is straight up the best Assassin's Creed, simply for the fact that it's a pirate game, and they handle it very, very nicely. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to get to them, but I'd really like to at least start one of them fairly soon, just because... I, I want to play them. I want to try them. So, um, yeah, that is our pickups video number three for 2016. Uh, 2016 is actually kind of flying by. I can't believe we are now in March, um, and actually near the end of March when this video ends up going live. That is getting pretty insane. This year has been going by pretty quick, which is kind of... Uh, frightening for me because um, my plan is to be married in July um, so yeah I should probably start working on some of that preparation this is gonna be fun anyway thanks for watching guys uh, what do you guys think of the video and the pickups uh, let us know in the comments below I'm actually really interested to see what you guys would suggest we look into based on what you've seen us get so far um, these are pickup videos to me are more utilized for um, sharing and showcasing possible interest to one another, not so much just to brag. That's really inappropriate in my opinion. I like to share 
what I get to see if it might inspire you guys to look into the games and possibly pick them up yourselves. And I really do keep asking for your guys' input because I'd like to know what you guys think we might enjoy. Um, I will definitely look into any games that are posted, see if they are tickle our fancy. And if they do, we'll look into seeing if we can't get a copy. Because um, as it comes down to the wire with the number of games we continue to get, like, this is an upgrade because I already had the game. Um, same thing with um, Gravity Watch Remastered. I already had that game on the Vita. So it's it's getting to the point where based on what I'm familiar with and such, it's kind of hard for me to find new games that I haven't heard of before that would strike my interest. So if you guys have any ideas as to what we might like based on what you've seen, please let us know. I am very interested in looking into other games. Um, aside from that, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, we do our best to post a new video every single week, uh, whether it be a Let's Play video, pickup video, other such, and occasionally I post other random videos throughout the week just to, you know, tickle my own fancy and urge to play something else and show it to you guys. Um, so yeah. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel.